a fossil hay from CFA. What's up guys, Ashby Gale, owner of Charleston Fossil Adventures here, and I am out with Chuck and Sue, a couple of frequent fossilers and repeat clients. Glad to have them back out here on the three quarter day adventure. We're going to go find some awesome fossils. Tide, low tide today's at 11, so let's go see what's out there. Woo! Check this out guys. That is a really cool vertebra from a dolphin. This one is going to be called the axis vertebra. It's the second vertebra in the spine. A little bit different shape than you see uh, the thoracic and the lumbar vertebrae having, but probably something diagnostic enough to get sent off to the Mace Brown Museum of Natural History. Always a good day when we get something we can donate to science. I got a good one down here. Let's see what they think. Just the edge is sticking out. Let's see what all is there. Oh yeah, it's a pretty wide little blade. So we're right behind the kayak. Found a really nice tooth. Go ahead and check that one out. Ah. That's all he was. Yep, looks like it's going to be a partial... Oh, this one is a partial great white. Oh my. You have some wrinkling going across the labial surface of the crown right there. And those serrations are going to be a little more coarse than ones from members of the Megalodon lineage. So, pretty cool. Got a tiger shark tooth right there, and a nice snaggle tooth there. Sweet. That's crazy. Look at this big vert we got. That one is a member of the Carcharhiniformes order of sharks. Those voids on the top and bottom indicate he is going to belong to the reef sharks, the snaggle tooth, and the tiger sharks. Awesome find. We got a fossil hiding up in the grass. It is in frame. Go ahead and pause it now if you want to find it. This is super expert mode. Here's a little easier. And then right there, go ahead and have Chuck grab this one. That is a honker of a chunk of sea turtle shell. That one being that thick uh, and not really ornamented much on the surface means that this is going to be from one of our larger loggerheads from the Oligocene called Proculp Achilles. Um, so probably a little bit bigger than the species of loggerhead we have alive today. That's awesome. Chuck got a two for one deal up here. Got a really nice shark vertebra from a member of the Lamniformes order of sharks. And right next to him, a little reef shark. Good finds. Thank you. All right, Sue, you got a shark vertebra right down here in the mud. Yeah. Let's see. Oh wow, uh, looks like on the side uh, we may have another Lamniformes or just a really water-worn Carcharhiniformes. Let's see what he is. Oh yeah, and then Chuck's got something cool up there. Let's see. That one is a really worn down Carcharhiniformes vertebra, but Chuck just got a gorgeous 
caudal vertebra from a juvenile whale. You can see that radiating pattern here on this side. That's where the uh, cartilage in between the epiphysis or the growth plate and the main part of the centrum uh, is growing new bone. So whenever this whale became an adult, that epiphysis would fuse to the centrum uh, and we would not see this pattern. We'd just see a nice, perfectly smooth, round disc right here. So a little tail vertebra from a dolphin. Juvenile, very nice. All right, Sue, I got you the shark coprolite. I want you to come flip this thing over because this one is the other item on your bucket list. And it's a big one, yeah. Flip that over. So that is one of those very large heart urchins that we have from the Ashley Formation. 28 to 30 million year old sea biscuit. Awesome. I love it. Check. All right, Sue, come get this massive snaggle tooth. Yeah? Oh yeah, nice barb. Ooh, that is a good one. Yeah. Look at how large that is. All right, so Sue just spotted one down here. Let me get in on it close. Thought it was just a little tiny tip of a tooth, but, oh yeah, there's more there. Ooh. Yeah, let's wash him off. That's the big Angustidens we've been waiting for all day. Beautiful find. Check it out. This guy is a little pathological Carcaracles tooth. So basically this is a tooth that was deformed in the jaw of the shark, someone in that megalodon lineage, and is really flattened. It curves up a lot there. That is pretty cool. We don't find too many deformed teeth, so anytime you get one, it's a good day. After not too much longer, wow. we got Big Angustidens number two there. Yeah, look at him. Really nicely colors there. Pretty sharp serrations on him too. Awesome. I can see it from back here. Look at that one. Nice little Angustidens hiding under some of the limestone. Yeah, we can see that little cusplet right there at the base of the tooth, telling us that this is two species before the evolution of Megalodon. Awesome find. All right, guys, so did you have a good time? Yes, we did! Awesome. So we've got the tide has come in. All of our huntable ground has been lost. So we're going to go ahead and paddle on back to the landing. Stay tuned. The fossil sorting and a close look at the highlights is coming up next. Wow, what a great day. Look at all of these teeth and all of these fossils. We took about 50 minutes to sort out about six hours worth of hunting here. And just some of the highlights. We've got a massive pile of shark coprolites here. That is fossilized poop. You can see they have that really gorgeous orange interior. One of the easy ways to identify them out on our beaches. In some of the rarer finds, we've got a couple of dolphin teeth, loads of barracuda teeth, a drumfish and burrfish teeth, 
and Chuck found a really cool find right here. That is a cutlass fish tooth. You can see it has that barb on the end. They're a really wicked looking species of fish with some crazy looking teeth. We got six thresher shark teeth, three over there and three right here. Chuck also found a leatherback ossicle and Sue got this really nice piece of mammoth tooth enamel from a Colombian mammoth that lived here in the Ice Age. Some really gorgeous angustidans, great colors on them, good serrations, a great lineup of snaggletooth shark teeth as well. One that's pretty cool that you might not think is neat is this one. He looks broken, but that was actually broken while that shark was alive. That oblique fracture indicates that this got broken off when that snaggle tooth bit down onto something pretty hard. Lots of extinct tiger sharks, some with some really cool colors in there too. Great shark vertebrae. Nice, big, complete ones. Check out the size of that one. That one was huge, probably from an Angustidans. Chuck also scored this really nice lumbar vertebra from a whale. Got a couple of hitchhiking oysters on it. You can pop those off, and uh, if you want to clean them, you can use a little white wine vinegar on it. Big chunks of sea turtle shell there as well. And then some of my favorites, of course, we got some whale ear bones. And this is one that I think, was it Sue? Did you find that one? Yeah. Take credit, yes. There you go, yeah, take credit. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice little bulla from probably something like a Wipatiid, one of those spear-toothed dolphins. So we're going to be Paddling on back to the landing, uh, so stick. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's killer. It's I know. It's believe me, I did a commercial. I talked in front of everybody all day long. And